Thank you, uh, the organizer. Um, uh, we are Fair Group. Uh, we actually manufacture uh, Samsung electronics product as well as we are going to manufacture the Hyundai car as well. Um, uh, so I would like to start with the challenges first. Uh, if you look into our exports, 85% uh, is uh, actually covered by the garments units and we don't have any alternatives where we can look forward uh, for the new export opportunities. And that, there we, we play, we want to play a vital role uh, about bringing in electronics and technology market uh, in, in Bangladesh. Um, definitely we talk about LDC to developing countries. As I was discussing uh, that today we are uh, competing with Vietnam, competing with Indonesia, competing with uh, India. None of these have LDC preference. So we are not in a difficult situation. Uh, to say that we, uh, there is a competitor uh, who is having an LDC advantage. So we will have uh, equal shares in the market to compete. Uh, now what uh, we should do to improve ourselves in terms of our economy, in terms of our export? Uh, definitely uh, efficiency is one of the big part. Uh, productivity is a big part. Cost uh, reduction in global market is a big part. But the most important part is the HR. We have seen that we have got a good uh, uh, garments worker who are uh, doing extremely good for making sure our economic uh, wheel are uh, getting in process. But what we don't have is uh, uh, technology driven uh, workforces. And um, that's, that's very important for us in the next uh, uh, journey uh, in technology uh, market. Uh, if you look into the global uh, political scenario, China is having some difficulties in, in uh, you know, send exporting products to U.S. and other markets. Where we can actually play the role uh, to become the next source of uh, production facility to um, give the products to the global market. So that is very, very important. So we, we need to put HR uh, training or educational curriculum in focusing on uh, technology, electronics kind of product, because if I talk about Vietnam, the majority is uh, exports are coming from garments and electronics product. Uh, you know, a, a big chunk of the um, uh, exports is coming from only Samsung factory in Vietnam. So that's actually played a very important role for us. Uh, the next uh, important uh, things, how we actually in these new uh, migration, how we can use the technology into um, development or productivity increase. Uh, to, uh, to be proud to say that uh, if you look into the mobile phone, which uh, three years or four years back was mostly imported from global market like China and Vietnam, uh, today we are having almost 85% smartphone being produced in Bangladesh. So that's, that's a great things we have done in three, four years. How we develop these HR, they are actually developed through the process. So we have taken a little bit longer time. Uh, so that was the basic structure we have started. Now we have to go beyond it and go uh, create a, a backward linkage where we produce batteries, we produce chipsets, we produce uh, you know, LCD, LCDs and all, all these kind of things. Looking at similar things into refrigerators, and air conditions and televisions where we can actually start producing all those technological products into Bangladesh. And for that, we need a good research uh, team. We need a very strong HR uh, portfolio where these workers can become an essentially better for us. This will also help for our uh, HR or our labor forces to work abroad uh, where they can earn more money by having a uh, strong understanding of technological uh, you know, uh, product uh, manufa manufacturing. Uh, so as I was saying that we have got almost 85% smartphone being produced in Bangladesh. Almost about 35% of Bangladeshis are now using smartphone. Uh, so these actually enable us to uh, you know, get the convergence of internet with our workforces. Uh, in, in every household. 
So I believe that uh, with the growing uh, smartphone penetration in the market, uh, we will be able to have a productivity enhancement program uh, through uh, digitalization, and that will also help us. So I think, uh, lastly, I would want to say is first, uh, definitely uh, garments is one of the major export uh, area, but we need to find new opportunities through pharmacy product, medical products, as well as electronics and, and mobiles. Uh, we also have to develop our HR for a sustainable development for the next 10 years to 15 years time, so that after China, people should think about Bangladesh as a hub for manufacturing of technology and uh, electronics product. And also we have, with the digitalization which is taking place, with a huge market, because we are eighth largest populated market globally, I think the domestic market will also play a vital role and we, with the convergence of uh, digitalization, we will be able to bring the productivity up, we will be able to do uh, the things better way, productivity, efficiency, drive that and uh, that, that's how we, we should do it. We, um, three of our panelists, we are only talking on uh, HR quite an emphasis. Uh, this is very, very important because I was, I was saying that we have to uh, have an alternative category of product which we can explore for exports. Uh, we have to also create a alternative markets for uh, exports. So uh, apart from definitely EU and America, we can think about ASEAN as a market. Uh, we can think about China as a market. We can think about Africa as a market. So we, we need to think about that. So now coming into how we can develop this HR for the next level. Uh, Definitely, uh, we have an education system, but this education system may not have a futuristic view uh, on which uh, education curriculum we should have with, in line with the development we will have in next 10 years' time. Whether we will go into agriculture more, we want to go into technology more, we want to go for electronics more, automobile, how we want to develop. So I think uh, the education curriculum should fall with the future plan of the industrialization or agriculture or service industries. Uh, we probably have got a lot of MBAs which are roaming around uh, having difficulties in getting jobs. But when we go to find a te technical person uh, having a good diploma or an engineering background, uh, we find it very difficult to get the right people. So I think we need to the, the, whether the government or UGC or any other part which are into uh, these discussions should plan that in next 10 years or 20 years where Bangladesh should grow and align that with the curriculum or create that kind of universities or colleges to bring more people which are needed for Bangladesh development. I think that's all I can say.